Welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin. Today is Thursday, December 29th, 2005. And we're going to talk about how to use Excel to join text. That's right, we're going to do calculations with text cells instead of numeric cells. Today we have a first name in column A and a last name in column B, and we'd like to get these joined together. Instead of using a plus sign though, because we're, we have text values, we want to use the ampersand character. That's the shift seven character to join A2 ampersand B2. Now that works out pretty well, but you'll notice that it didn't put a space between the two cells. So what we can do is go back and edit the formula and join A2 with, in quotes, a space, another ampersand, and B2. So we have equal A2 ampersand quote space quote ampersand B2 joins Brittany and Spears together in a single cell. Double click the fill handle and everything is good. Now there's many different functions available to do calculations with text. And one of my favorite is the proper function. The proper function will take text that in this case is in uppercase and convert it to proper case, which capitalizes the first letter of each word. Works great in most cases. You'll notice that in cell C2, Paul McCartney, I think that second C in McCartney should be capitalized and Excel won't do that. You'll have to go through and manually fix these. Now one caution, now that you have the data that you want in column C, you might be tempted to go through and delete columns A and B. Edit, delete. Oh no, all of our data is gone. What happened? Well, it turns out the formulas are pointing to cells that don't exist anymore. I'm going to hit control Z undo to get those back. And what we have to do is convert these formulas to their current values. So I'll use control C to copy these to the clipboard, go back to edit, pay special and choose values to convert the cells to their current values. Now I'm free to delete the original columns and the names stay. There you have it. Today we talked about joining text using the ampersand character and then how to convert uppercase to proper case using the proper function. There's also functions for upper and lower. Finally, how to convert live formulas to values using copy to the clipboard and then edit pay special values. Thanks for joining me. Stop back tomorrow for another great tip from Mr. Excel.